Hey guys, thank you so much for coming back to check me out yet a mother freaking again. It's your girl Chrissy and I'm back, mother Effa. Okay, so not really, I'm not really back. I just wanted to come in, kick it with you guys for a little bit. Um, I feel like this month I wanna be on some more chill vibes, just wanna be chilling, minding my business. Um, getting my mind in a different mind frame because obviously it's 2022 now. This is the first video of the year on my channel. Um, so I wanna move with intention in 2022. So I wanna be more calculated. Um, and that's not necessary uh gearing more or gearing around you know the type of videos i post or anything i don't think that's going to change necessarily but just be more intentional and in tune with myself um and fine tuning myself okay and i feel like in order for that to happen that's that's um some self-development some self-growth some self-love um fine-tuning that i will have to do so it will require me you know just limiting my time on all social media platforms including youtube as far as what i present okay um i think that would be like the difference um i know in the past i definitely had a lot of goals you know for this channel and one day i hope to achieve those goals but um the direction that i want to move with anything is just natural um no obligation as i have been doing you know but i will i feel like more so this year it's going to be even less videos like um i realized towards the end of the last year if you're a youtuber big or small you get like a summary of how you did um and there's this app that i used that tell tells you you know how you did since you started your channel how many videos you put out per each year how many subscribers you obtained this that and a third so um within the last year i would say i put way less videos than i normally would which was shocking but then again it wasn't because like i've already was moving with the mindset of you know i'm gonna do what i feel like when i feel like it you know what i mean and um i guess because of that i this was last year 2021 was the year that um i accumulated the less amount of followers, which was shocking. I didn't realize I was getting more followers in the first two years <laughs> of my journey, um, you know, of my YouTube journey. That was crazy. Um, towards the end of the year, it definitely did picked up a lot. And I guess that's probably why I felt that way because it was stagnant for a while. And, you know, it kind of annoyed me. And then eventually once I got out of that I don't care, you know what I mean, phase. It picked up on its own naturally, organically, um, you know, and yeah, so that's why I'm saying what I'm saying now, where I'm at today is that that is the momentum I choose to continue to do, um, you know, because fortunately it is a small YouTube channel. I do not attend to push 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 out like i did the first two years of my youtube channel you know what i mean um i'll give what i get back you know what i'm saying um and and that that doesn't mean that i'm going to stop doing youtube videos or anything like that it's just i'm going to continue to do what i've been doing whenever i feel like posting a video i'm going to post a video like you know just whatever i feel like putting out i'm going to put out like you know this channel started off as like a lock journey channel 
And when I realized that wasn't working out for me, I just decided to not be bound to locks, you know, and I have the freedom to maneuver within my YouTube journey however I feel. And because I am fortunate enough to have a small YouTube channel, you know, anyone that subscribes to my channel knowing this has no obligation. Um, I have no obligation um, to feel like I need to per post certain type of videos or all life videos or all relationship videos. You come into this channel, this small time channel, knowing that I cover a vast um, a variety of topics um, and you know, I move how I feel. I don't post on every Sunday or Saturday. That's not this channel, you know what I mean? And I just appreciate all of my subscribers. Um, I appreciate um, the people that comment, that likes. Um, I appreciate the fact that we don't see who dislikes because no, I ain't checking for somebody that dislikes my channel, okay? Nope, not I. <laughs> so I appreciate that feature that YouTube updated towards the end of the year. Um, Cause you know, you know you got haters, but they some bold mother efforts to be disliking your video. Like, you hating for real, for real. <laughs> but, yeah, so that's just a small little introductory, you know, just to get you guys in the mind frame of what I plan on doing with my channel this year. Pretty much what I was doing last year. Um, whatever I feel like it, whenever I feel like no obligation is <laughs> just going to be, you know what I mean? just whatever pace that I feel like going, you know? Um, but with that being said, um, being that I am trying to do this year with things that are more intentional, um, trying to place myself in areas and places and the mindset and um, structured wise, doing things that I need to do that I haven't been doing, I haven't been on top of, um, as far as my personal development, development, my spiritual growth, um, things that are going to, as I mentioned earlier, fine to me. So, um, I have to learn a different phase um, in my life right now, being that this is the third year Hold on. Yes, okay, I'm <laughs> like, wait. This is the third new year I brought in celibate. And um, that's a big deal. I'm very proud of myself because when you think about bringing in the new year, you know, the goals that I've set, well, prior to the new year, I didn't need a new year to set these goals. And being that this is the third new year that I brought in Sullivan um, speaks volumes to me as far as how far I have come. And it has me reflect back on where it began, you know, and the mindset that I was in when I first decided that, you know, I was going to be going celibate, you know, my thought process then versus where I'm at today has grown. You know, it, it shows a lot of maturity within my celibacy journey. And because of that, I wanna take this year, which I'll be turning three years celibate. So I'm going on two and a half years celibate. So when I reach three years celibate, unless by some miracle I get married, which I doubt that will happen that fast, you know what I'm saying? But by the time I reach my third year celibate, it will be such a big deal um, and because I would have grown more mentally, spiritually, um, and that's the goal, you know? Like, you have to do the work in your celibacy journey. You can't just be complacent. You can't just be sitting there waiting for God to send you someone or um, you to walk into him or meet him or, the celibacy journey is about self-improvement, self-development and self-growth. Um, it's about maturing mentally in levels and areas um, and definitely um, maturing spiritually. You know, my relationship with Christ has to grow 
go to another level. I would say I have a beautiful relationship with Christ, you know, um, God, my Heavenly Father, Son, Holy Ghost, all that. Um, but there are levels that I need to reach and I'm really going to focus on getting to that place so that I am really ready when God do send me my husband, you know, because I want to be in a place spiritually um, grounded to the point where a man coming into my life is not going to change the relationship that I have with God um, in a negative way. You know, um, I've realized in the past, I put my past relationship before God, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, the God we serve is a jealous God, you know what I mean? And I put that man before God, you know? So of course it wasn't going to work out, you know what I mean? And I've learned, like, I have to be spiritually grounded in my word. I have to be anchored in my word and that's the the goals that i have this year just to work more on <clears throat> the um you know just implanting the word of god <clears throat> excuse me implanting the word of god um embedding it in my heart in my mind in my soul you know like that's really important like everything else i would say is there you know what I mean, as far as spiritually, but I just need to get more into the word of God. I pray, I'm always praying, um, thinking, <clears throat> excuse me, thanking and praising God. Um, but now it's like, okay, it's time to, it's time to take it up another level. You know what I mean? And it's not like I'm immature in the word of God, but I'm not where I'm supposed to be, especially not if I, I hope to, you know, get, be married and be a wife one day to a God-fearing man, you know what I mean? Oh, okay. So with that being said, as you see, I'm drinking water. And yes, it is the Great Value brand. Honestly, I love this water. It's my favorite water, um, especially when cold. Um, all right, so um, I'm not drinking wine tonight. <laughs> I know I kind of <clears throat> pushed it off because last night I was turning it up by myself and I drunk, I had some wine, honey. So today I just was like, chill out. Cause usually, excuse me, if I stay up, if I stay up late sipping to the wee hours of the morning, especially by myself, yeah, I'm not sipping the next day. So I wasn't in the mood to really sip. Then I thought about it, I'm like, nah, it's a little too late to be trying to drink now. So, I will not be drinking wine in my first video of the year. Maybe that says something, okay? Hmm, that's interesting. So anyways, I wanted to bring out the handy dandy self-love deck. I think it's appropriate. It's always appropriate. Um, considering the direction that I want to go, the things that I want to continue to mature in, whether it's in my celibacy journey, um, my spiritual journey, my journey as a mother, um, an employee, it's really important to be grounded in questions um, that this deck has to offer. Um, just to keep you mindful and aware. I'm not going to hold y'all because this intro was like a little too long. I might even break it up and make it two different videos, to be honest. Um, just because I just don't want <laughs> this drag. And I'm only going to take like a few cards. Okay, I want to do four, so... And in case you don't know, like I've never came across these cards. I don't, I have no idea what any of these questions are. What I do is I pluck them from the card. I go live or I come here. Okay. So yeah, um, so it's mad chill vibes tonight. Cause yeah, it's just mad chill vibes tonight. So I really just want to do this because, um, you know, going into this year, um, the year of 2022, 
um it's kind of bizarre to even say 2022 <laughs> to be honest um i want to set the tone and because i hate I'm not gonna say I hate, this card deck challenges you to really go there. And I figure why not start, you know, set the tone for my channel in 2022 with more self-love. So yes, I will be asking, I mean, you know, I'll be reading these questions from these cards. I will be answering them myself, but this isn't just about me. I share this because I want others to, I want you all, other people that, you know, I share these cards with to um, internalize and answer the questions themselves. You know what I mean? So answer the question for yourself, like sit down, write, a, um, write it down, write your answers down, um, carefully think, you know, sometimes because I'm recording, I'm kind of quick with my answers. Um, um, it's not that I didn't think it throughly. Um, a lot of times it's just, you know, cause I'm a thinker. So I've already be asking my question, myself certain questions and I'm very in tune with myself. So I already would know how I would respond to it. If I don't feel like I know, I would just be like, hold on give me a minute or whatever. Um, and you know, because I'm not sipping tonight, the energy may be a little different. Um, I feel like, uh, I don't know, maybe a little, I don't know, just less wordy, put it like that, okay? Like, I think it's time for me to reflect. It's been a minute since I plucked from the self-love deck. It's been a minute from since I plucked from the decks and I just wanted to get back into that and I want my channel to have that tone set for 2022 um, because it's about self-love, it's about self-development, it's about self-reflection, self-growth, fine-tuning, growing spiritually, maturing in God's word. It's about all of that over here, okay? Okay, so... so Question number one, what's the most impactful footprint a person has ever left on the sands of your soul? Yeah, that's a different question. Um, the most impactful footprint someone has left on my soul. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, I I guess it depends on how you look at it. Is it impactful in a good way or is it impactful in a negative way? Um, I'm going to go because it's a self-love deck. I would say my children. I know that's like kind of cliche. Um but when somebody touches your soul like it changes you and having to birth four children and become a mom and grow as a mom from a young adolescent adult at 18 now going on 34 um I would say it's been the most impactful because it changed me from a child to a woman. Um, it matured me in a lot of areas um, that I do not believe I would have toned down if it wasn't for my children. You know, I have a reason to live. I have a reason to fight. I have a reason to go hard. Everything that I eat, sleep and breathe, everything that I do, everything that that I create and the reasons I go hard is because of them. And if it, I don't even know if I didn't have them, um, would, would I have the same drive, the same energy? So I would say just being a mother to my four beautiful, gorgeous children, you know, is the reason, is has been the most impactful. Um, because it changed me as a person, you know, inside and out. Um, and it wasn't something that was instant. It was something that was instantaneous or continuous. I can't think when I'm not sipping. 
it's like I'm shy or something. <laughs> but um, yeah, it changed me from, it calmed me down in a lot of ways. Like, you know, I've had to learn to grow, to have patience with dealing with people, had to think twice, you know, knocking somebody out because of the sake of my children. Um, not going to say that I didn't knock somebody out for the sake of my children either. I'm just saying like the reason why I am the way I am today is because of my children, the impact that they leave on my soul. Point blank period. Oh, this seems like a waste. All right. Are you giving your all to the relationship you have with yourself? If not, why? Um... I don't believe I am giving myself my all to myself. I believe I am doing my best. I believe that I am lazy in certain aspects because there are things about myself that I don't necessarily like um, that I can change and I'm just not changing it. Not for nothing, I'm just too unmotivated, um, too lazy to do anything about it and um, that's that's the best i got for you um particularly it's just my weight gain and i'll get into that in another video but obviously if somebody don't like something about themselves they can change their eating habits they can work out like i have a gym membership that i've been paying for since the summer and i've only been there once they have child care provided you know, there's a pool, all this stuff, and I pay for it every month. And I don't go, I only been one time, and that was the week after I, I um, became a member. So, and the only reason why I pay for it monthly since the summer, now it's probably like going on six months now, like the only reason why I continue to pay for it is because I'm punishing myself for not going like there's no reason for me to not i mean granted work but days that i don't have work like they have child care provided like i could really go but i just i'm lazy about it so i i mean in that aspect i don't feel like i'm giving my all to myself you know if i know there's something about myself that i don't like physically and i'm just choosing not to change it just because i'm lazy don't feel like it like no i'm not giving my all i'll be the first to say that um or maybe because i haven't got to the point where i'm like i feel like okay like now is now i mean mentally i feel that way but clearly i'm not doing anything about it so do i really feel that way yeah so um that will be the um only thing that i would say is the thing that i don't feel like i'm get the reason why i don't feel like i'm giving my all to myself um yeah have you ever lost yourself trying to find another person? If so, what did you do on that journey? Um, I talk about this all the time. I don't even care to go into it because I talk about it all the time. But like I say before, you know, if the questions are asked, then I'm gonna have to go into it, okay? Um, let's just make one thing clear. Reflection is a good thing because it keeps you um, mindful of where you started and where you are now. And I believe that's the purpose of this card. You know what I mean? Um, yes, I talk about me losing myself a lot in my last relationship. I lost myself, literally. Like I could not recognize the person I was. Um, you know, I was a happier person, um, a strong person you know, outside of him, you know what I mean? And I just remember looking at old pictures, like right before him and I got back together and looking at the smile that I had on my face in those pictures, you know what I mean? And just like, wow, I don't even smile like that anymore. Like my smile has changed. It's like my smile wasn't genuine, you know what I mean? And that's when I knew that I didn't recognize myself. 
you know, like even, you know, going through uh, spurts of depression. I'm not a depressive person. I don't have any mental health illnesses. Believe me, I got, um, I sought therapy. I went to a psychiatrist. I was evaluated. Um, because I really thought something was wrong with me within that relationship. And they were just like, no, it's nothing wrong with you. Um, as far as a mental illness is concerned, what you're going through is the reason why you're going through this depression. They're calling it, um, they called it environmental depression. So basically once I changed the things that were happening around me, then, you know, mentally I was going to be okay so yeah um but that's what i'm saying like i my mannerisms was off like my body was jittery i was always dropping things because i had really bad anxiety like that wasn't just like waking up in cold sweats um barely sleeping like that just wasn't me at all and i didn't recognize that person me chasing after a man that wasn't me so what i did on that journey to get to where I'm at today is I left it. I sought therapy. I went back to church um, faithfully too. Like I was going during the week. Um, um, you know, I started paying my tithes. That's when I first started paying my tithes in 2019. And, you know, just started to do what was best for me. Planning my exit mentally to prepare myself for the day that I was going to physically leave. And um, after that, just focused on self-development. I went to um, classes uh, or groups that my church had um, that, you know, just they had like a group for divorce. They had a group for grief. I went to both. Like I did the necessary steps that I needed to do to get to where I'm at today, including prayer, um, fasting, like, you know? So yeah, people don't like to hear, he don't even like when I talk about it, but I'm like, look, at least we could talk about it. You know what I mean? Like it is what it is. Like it's your story. It's my story. Like you can't deny somebody their story. Um, I know some people don't like to dwell on it, but you have to be present and you have to be mindful of the mistakes that you made so that you don't make them again. You can't be oblivious. You can't be an airhead to it because if you just kind of shun it out of your life, like, oh, it never happened or I'm just going to ignore it and just bury it. But there's still pain there that hasn't been resolved and fully expressed and dealt with. Yeah, nine times out of 10 is going to happen. So that's why I talk freely about what I've been through. Um, it's not for everybody. I understand that. But for me, that was a part of my healing process. Even having, I, I started a, my breakup journey um, playlist. I've even went celibate, you know, as the result of me losing myself to find myself again. So yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> And last card, and we're going to wrap this thing on up. If you only had enough room in your hands to carry one memory for the rest of your life, which one would it be and why? To carry one memory. One memory. Wow, that's kind of hard with four kids. Um... one memory okay um it would just be a moment that i spent with my children all four of them you know what i mean um that's the only memory i care to have if i had to remember anything it would be me with my children a moment that we all shared together laughing playing doing our family traditions we have so many um especially around the holidays you know what i mean or you know when the weather breaks and things of that nature um but it will be a moment with them that's it and that's all <laughs> okay guys so i'm sorry if i gave y'all weird energy i know i always gotta apologize for the energy because homegirl was not sipping and honestly i wasn't even 
I was in the mood to record, but at the same time I wasn't, but I'm like, you know, I want to record. So just do it while you got time. Um, like I said earlier, there's, um, there's gonna continue not to be a schedule. That's the beauty of having, <laughs> Uh, that's the beauty of being a small YouTuber. You know what I mean? I've learned to embrace what comes with being a small YouTuber. The demand isn't high. Nobody's demanding my videos. Nobody's waiting to see when I'm going to post next. I can do it whenever I want. <laughs> so I'm, I'm enjoying that. You know what I mean? Um, but I want to end this off by saying... I want to wish everyone a happy, happy, happy new year. Um, make this new year count. Make it count. My last two years, 2020 and 2021, was great. 2020 was awesome. 2021 for me was phenomenal. It's time to step it up even more. You know what I mean? In every area and aspect of my life it's time to take it to another level. You know what I'm saying? And whether I end this year with a man or without a man, I'm still going to be whole, period. You know? And I just want everyone to be mindful of where they're at today, who they are today, and why they are today. And if you don't like something about yourself, Especially, I'm not talking about the physical, but even though we need to, we going, we going to get there, sis. But more so internal, do the self-love work. Do the self-love work, okay? Now, I do physically take care of myself, but I just don't go to the gym. But I definitely spoil myself physically, you know, as far as pampering myself and making sure I look good and taking time to do my skincare so my skin can glow. Ah! Yes, I'm not wearing any makeup whatsoever. I got something on my lips. That's it. And of course, my individual lashes um, that I do myself, period, because I'm not paying nobody to do my lashes when I can do it myself, period. Um, but anyways... Outside of that, I just want everybody to really take time this month, and that's what I'm gonna be doing this month, take time to figure out the direction that I wanna move forward with for the remaining 11 months, you feel me? So, um, take time. I know some people think like, why you ain't do that in 2021? Because 2021, I enjoyed it for what it was, you know what I mean? Now it's a new year. Now I have to evaluate how do I want to move forward, you know what I mean, in this year while I'm in the present. Be in the present, okay? <laughs> so anyways, happy new year. I hope it turns out to be an amazing year full of blessings, prosperity, wealth, health. Um, I pray that this C virus goes away <laughs> in the name of Jesus. I pray that you all reach your goals that you have set for yourself, all of your um, resolutions. I, I pray that you meet them. I pray that you all um, grow spiritually um, within Christ and um, in and also in his word. Um, and hopefully by the end of this year, we can all connect and just be one spiritually. You feel me? So anyways, um, once again, it's your girl, Chrissy. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate you. Peace and love, love and harmony, and be blessed. Yes. <laughs>